Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Quick update on the forecast for today, especially for race fans for tonight for the uh, Bank of America 500. Quick look at the radar and satellite together shows all these showers uh, moving from west to east, but they're really breaking up as they get close to the Carolinas. We've got a frontal boundary right up in here. Uh, to the north, which is really going to be the main driver of our weather this evening, and along the front, little waves of low pressure that are trying to develop. First thing I want to show you is what we call CAPE, or thunderstorm fuel. You can see uh, basically from Greensboro South, Interstate 40 South, we've got CAPEs of around one to 2,000. You can see the scale here on the left. So there is some fuel for storms, but a lot of this is going to happen this afternoon as that cold front drifts down from the north. And that cold front seems to be right in here drifting to the south and really is what's going to drive our weather as we go into the evening hours. So when we look ahead towards the evening hours, I want to show you what the short range models are looking like for the race. So we'll turn everything else off here real quickly and give you a real good idea on what's going to happen this evening based on the short range model. We call this the, uh, the HRR, the HER, because they run this uh, every hour out to 15 hours. So this was this morning. We'll go out to um, this afternoon at about uh, 2 p.m. This is 2 p.m. this afternoon. I'll zoom in real closely here. You can see scattered showers and even some thunderstorms tapping into that thunderstorm fuel I just showed you. As we go towards 3 o'clock, there will be rain around the track between 2 and 4 based on this model. Really, all the models have rain between that 2 to 4 to 5 p.m. Now, as we go towards 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and eventually 7 p.m., we start to see the rain pushing east. So I do think there'll be rain before the race, but by eight o'clock, the rain is all to the east. And by nine o'clock, the rain is gone. This is 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, some showers try to pop back up and then midnight, it looks like showers. So you can see that window we have. Again, we'll go back to uh, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. and then 8 p.m. So you can see, and again, the, the, the way these storms look, some of these could be severe with straight line wind. So that would certainly be an issue. So let's go right into the track and we'll zoom right in and you'll see the track right there. There it is in the middle of your screen. And we'll go back, uh, back to the afternoon. There's 2 p.m., 3 p.m. We've got rain over the track, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. 8 p.m. It's dry. So when you look at the track, we'll go back right there. That is 3 o'clock this afternoon with rain over the track and then going out to 8 p.m., which is right after the green flag. It's supposed to start, I think it's 745 or so, but you know how it is with these races. could be closer to 8 o'clock. So that's what we're thinking right now. Um, uh, this has been consistent the last month. And again, this model runs every hour, so it updates itself. It kind of self-corrects based on the current situation going on. And when we look at the current situation, um, it takes into account the showers that have formed out there already. So looking at this forecast and really the way I've been feeling all week, 30, 40% chance of rain between 3 and 6 p.m. and then improving by the time the race starts. So the Air Titans, they'll be worth their weight in gold tonight. We'll dry that track. And I think we're going to race tonight. Could see a little delay as it takes time to dry the track, but I certainly see no reason at all right now that we will not get this race in tonight unless the front somehow stalls or we get a shower that parks over us for an extended period of time and it just becomes one of those never any battles that dry to track. I'd grab the poncho, bring it with you because if you're going out there like I am at about three o'clock this afternoon, it's likely going to be raining. Hope you have a great day. I'll keep things up to date on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you follow me at WXBrad on Twitter and I'll let you know about any changes that develop as we go in through the afternoon.